Hi everyone, my name is Joe Merrill and I am one half of the Merrill's EDU. And today we're gonna to take a look at Buncee. Perhaps you're using this for the first time while trying to wrap your head around remote learning. Well, Buncee is a great way to deliver content to your students in a remote setting. I'm assuming that at this point you've already created an educator account and this is what you're looking at. This is the educator dashboard and to get started, it's very simple. You just want to go where it says create a new Buncee. The first, the first pop-up that comes up is going to ask you if you'd like to create on Buncee 3.0 or 2.0. Buncee 3.0 is a very slick, modern way uh, to get your publications out, whereas 2.0 is more traditional. It looks like everything is moving forward on Buncee 3.0, so I'm just going to choose that. And now I have this option. I can create my Buncee from lots of different templates. There's lots of different sizes that are fully customizable, but for our purpose, I'm just going to keep it from scratch and keep it the way that it is. And as you can see, there's uh, immediately two big things that come up. The first is to change the background, and the second is to add your first item. If you're cool with the white background, you can just go ahead and skip the background color, and you can start adding your first item. But if you'd like to change the background color, I recommend doing it first. And when you click on this, you can choose from uh, pictures from the web. There's colors. You can upload your own. There's also some trending things within Buncee. Uh, lots of different neat stuff that you can use. Now, Keep in mind that your students are seeing the exact same things that you are. So all of these tools are available for students when they create on Buncee. You might be thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute. I don't know if I want my students going on a web search looking for background images. Buncee uses safe search, so you don't need to worry about them finding anything that's inappropriate. Everything will be filtered, and that way you don't have to stress about uh, them pulling up something that they shouldn't. So for our purpose today, though, I'm just going to keep a color background. I'm going to change this to, let's just do black. And I'm going to do this to all pages. Now I'm ready to add my first item. When I click, when I click this, you can see lots of options come up right here off the bat. You have text. You can add shapes. There's drawing. There's even 3D Buncee images, Buncee animations, which are almost like moving GIFs that you can embed right directly into the Buncee. There's uh, stickers, uh, Buncee messages, emojis, all kinds of stuff. These are really neat too, the 360 images. That's basically a static image that is embedded into the Buncee that actually moves and it gives a very immersive experience that your child is uh, actually there in that particular scene, which is really cool. Uh, so there's also things that you can upload. So if you had things that you wanted to bring onto your Buncee, you can do that as well. Uh, let's just go ahead and start out by adding text though. And I'm just going to change this color to white because otherwise we won't be able to see it because there's a black background. And then I'm just going to say this is our remote learning Buncee. Okay, you can change the font types over the, oops, right over here. We'll change it to something nice and thick. Oops, come on, highlight it all. Sorry about that. Highlight it all, then change it to something nice and thick and then you can move it anywhere on the slide that you'd like. So I'll put it right about over here. And then let's say, for example, that you wanted to hyperlink something into your Buncee. Let me show you how you can do that. See this plus sign right here? If you click this, this will add another item. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on import URL and I'm going to paste a YouTube link in and then I'm going to hit done. And as you can see, it is embedded this YouTube video, which looks like a picture, but when you go to click it, it will be a uh, video right directly into our Buncee. Now, where this might come in especially handy is if you are familiar with YouTube, you can go on YouTube live as an educator and you can live stream directly to your students and you can use that same URL and put it right smack where this picture is. And then your students will be able to interact with you live on the Buncee with you right then and there, which is pretty awesome. Now to deliver this content to your students, all you'll need to do is go to where it says share and then, oops, I forgot to add a title. We gotta make sure we have a title. Let's just call it remote learning. There we go. And then we'll go back over to share. And then we want to say, copy the link right there. So we want to go to code and then copy this link. When you do this, there is the copied text and the little message right there that says copied. That's the URL that you will share with your families in order for your students to get on. So let me show you what that looks like when they are logging on for the first time. So here is the student view of the Buncee that we just created. And this would be the YouTube video, as you can see, it plays. And then you have all the information over there. So anyways, this is how you get started with Buncee. If you have any questions, please be sure to follow us on social media at the Merrill's EDU. Also on our website, www.themerrillsedu.com. And I hope this helps you guys. Thanks.